When we first got a set of Android tablets to use in class, the kids were super excited. And I was too, but I was also pretty nervous. I knew that the tablets could help us personalize and differentiate instruction for our students, but I just didn't know where to start. But then my school's tech mentor showed me the Google Play for Education store. Just seeing all the apps available was pretty overwhelming. But Google Play for Education was designed to help teachers sift through all those different apps. There are categories and content area filters, and even a section for working with students with special needs. The thing I like best though is that there are teacher ratings and reviews that have ideas for how you can use each app in the class. There's nothing better than hearing firsthand from experienced teachers, and it's been really helpful. I started by going through and picking out about 10 apps that I thought would work well with my kids. You can assign individual apps to particular students or groups of students, which is really cool. They're getting a tailor-made set of tools delivered right to their tablets. Well, I've been working as a tech mentor in our school for a few years now. Our tablet use has been increasing and teachers have had some concerns about not being able to know every app and how to use everything that's on the tablets. My approach is to get the kids involved. When we roll out a new app, I recommend a process that gets the students involved in figuring out how to use it, as well as what it can be used for. So first, I just let them explore and play with the app. Kids are fearless in trying things out, and before long, they get it working and start helping each other. So the kids then have to teach the teacher what they've found. It's students teaching teachers, a great model for the kids. Next, they create their own app reviews using a Google form. They give it a star rating, what they like, what they didn't like, and what it was like to try and teach someone else how to use it. The final step is to create a collaborative Google document where each student then comes up with ideas on how they think the app could be used in a class. Is there a project that could have used the app or an activity or lesson that could use a little boost? The ideas they come up with show real innovative thinking.